Let's go to 1 Timothy, the fourth chapter. Now look how, look how the NFL is doing Colin Kaepernick and they send a message to the rest of the black players is that we are not having any, any civil unrestness on our watch. These are our teams. You want a platform, you make it somewhere else and you come in this league, you do what we say. The only thing we pushing is our own propaganda. Mm -hmm. and so they make an example out of him to shut up every black athlete mm -hmm. hey, in America. And, 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 and they are accomplishing it. The brother from Atlanta, before they got the dogs fighting. Uh, yeah, Jesus. Michael Vick. Michael yeah, Vick. They using Michael Vick as, as they, as they yeah, mouthpiece yeah, to yeah, go he, against Cody. Yeah, 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 he heard Steve Harvey last week. They using him to cool. all of them cooning. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, all of them cooning. But Fumari was talking about. I said, yeah. "Listen to this man." He said, "Yeah, he out the Ray Lewis cooning. Big time. Sterling trying not to. Yeah. Sterling Sharp trying. Cause Cause Sterling Ray Sharp tearing him up. Ray, him yeah. Ray had to chew it on the show. I yeah, he tearing him up. <laughs> but but to get back to my point. Ahead, that <laughs> I'm showing you how the any <laughs> the mysteries of iniquity is not allowing any righteousness to shine mm -hmm. this man all he wanted to do was bring well, awareness that young black men is being killed senseless by white cops and nothing is being done about it, it and he did it <laughs> on a platform that he has been allotted to be a quarterback in the national football league he said i'm i'm sitting down on the national anthem they Talking about clean up his image, the man not a criminal. He did nothing wrong. So they're trying to silence him and tell all the rest of you niggas, shut up. And this is not the day where the brothers held their fists up in the Olympics. All that is out the window. Muhammad Ali and Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Jim Brown, them brothers, that, that day is over. Y'all say something, we're going to get rid of you. So I'm just trying to show you how the mysteries of iniquity is wow. working. Yeah, it's, it's not allowing nothing righteous. Wow. We, we're trying to... Ooh, that's heavy thought, man. Yeah, it is. And and um, Tavis Smiley, I think it was Tavis Smiley, had did an interview with... No, not Tavis Smiley. Uh, the brother from Chicago, from, from Texas, with Chicago, we got a show on TV One. Uh, Roland Martin. Well, he ain't from Chicago. He got a start here. Oh, okay, okay. okay. He's from Texas. Yeah. Okay. When he came to VON mm -hmm. before he went to uh, TV One, CNN. But anyway, he interviewed a Klansman, and the Klansman said that we have changed our strategy. We don't walk around with sheets no more. We're in the police department. We're in the FBI. We're in judges. We have committed ourselves and our children to do this to destroy black men. This was a, a FBI report that came out about six or seven years ago that the police departments are getting flooded with Klansmen. So these people have a plan against us. And so I'm just showing you how the enemy is tearing down anything a, that opposes itself against him and that exalts anything of Elohim. It's coming hard, hard against him. If that wasn't Roland Martin, it was either him or Tabitha Smiley. Mm -hmm. Now, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. We're on page 1165. 1 Timothy chapter yeah, 4. Yeah, we're dealing with the Antichrist. 1158. <clears throat> 1 First Timothy four. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. I'm in Second Timothy. No, no, it's First Timothy. He was just in Second. Oh, okay. Yeah, First. Yeah, eleven fifty eight. Came from verse one, right? Yep. But the ruach, the spirit, distinctly says, or expressly says, uh, that in latter times some shall fall away from the belief, paying attention to misleading spirits, teachings of demons. Same thing we just read in Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. See that? So the spirit is saying, hey, the spirit is saying with emphasis, the spirit is shaking you by your shoulders, hollering in your ear, 
bugging you, getting your attention. Focus, wake up, pay attention. Is speaking expressly that in a lot of times, our days, some shall depart from the faith. How and why? Giving heed to seducing spirits, giving the ear to the Antichrist, the mysteries of iniquity, the great falling away, divorce, separation, apostasy, falling away from righteousness, a giving heed to seducing spirits. All right. So this is what the spirit is preparing us and warning us about. It is speaking distinctively. It's very clear. What did you say? I don't understand that. People in a lot of times falling away from belief, paying attention to misleading spirits. I got a call from elder this morning asked about a particular brother. Hey, have you heard from so-and-so, so-and-so? Elder, he's giving heed to seducing spirits. He's listening to the yabba dabba do Hebrews. shabba dabba yabba dabba do Hebrews. That's not even Hebrew. All of that shakalaka dama dama stuff, he's listening to that. That is the spirit of the Antichrist. And the father even allowing that to go on so they won't even profane his name and you can distinguish him from that foolishness that yabba dabba do hebrew stuff sound like hebrew ebonics because people is paying attention to that misleading spirits teachings of demons doctrines of devils well who is the head devil on earth that has manifested itself as a man the Antichrist, the abomination of desolation. Daniel say, when you see it, do what? Flee. Hey, everybody can't even see it. Everybody haven't even identified him. It says, speaking lies and hypocrisies haven't been branded on their own conscience. So your conscience, mm. your mind, Consciousness means aware to know the very thing that causes you to know, to focus, to know left and right. This thing has branded itself in that area. It's stapled to your mind. It 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 nailed itself in you. Power staple. Power staple. Mm -hmm. You got the works of these lies of the ministry of the Antichrist in your mind. And you wonder why you're struggling with your faith. Because you've been giving heed to seducing spirits. And it comes in many forms. Tail light vision, cable, friends, mm -hmm. bad conversation. How it come is coming. Hey. Faith comes by hearing and hearing y'all the word, hearing y'all's word. It says to rehearse this in your hearing. Hey, when you get up, when you go your way, and when you go to bed at night. That's what the scriptures say. It says meditate on the word day and night. Now compare the word to the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Compare the word to the rest mm -hmm. of your life and then ask yourself, this is why I'm shook. Because of the things I'm witnessing. So now what we do, well, I don't want to watch the news because it's oh, bad news. That's it. I want to numb myself. So, so, so now you're so weak, you can't watch the news because you don't want to hear the bad news. Shaking in mind. You're shaking in your mind as opposed to looking for confirmation in the scripture. Ain't nothing happened. We ain't been warned. Nothing is happening that we ain't been warned. Why are you shaking about something you've been warned? Brace yourself. Here come the crash. Here come the bump. Boom. Oh, you are so surprised. There ain't nothing like Can't. there's nothing like this time right now because I'm telling you, Desert Storm, 9-11, you couldn't get in no place where some Hebrews were. It's crowded. Crowded. Mm -hmm. You listen. 
half of the or the third of the folk, two thirds of the folk in there panicking. Yep. They ain't been to class in a year, two years. The place still there. They know where yeah. it's at. Yeah. You know, they ain't been there in two, three, three years. Some people ain't never came. They just talk to this teacher on the side. Or they talk to this elder on the side, keep in contact with them. Yep. A third sitting there like, <laughs> we've been expecting this. We've been expecting this. It's in the scriptures. You have been studying. You've been reading. What you've been doing? Well, I, 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 I've been caught up in the cares of this. In the life. cares of this life. And that's we, that's we're gonna read Luke twenty one. Look at two again. Speaking lies, hypocrisy. Their conscience seared with a hot iron. Your conscience is being branded with a hot iron of the world. The, 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 the. the the very thing it says in Luke 21, surfeiting. You know what that means? Surfeiting means your fleshly desires. All of us got fleshly desires. Come on. Yes, come on. But you know what the word help us do? Control them. What happens when you don't have the word to control your mind? Mm. You gonna have all kind of desires, and when you can't perform that bucket list, you know what happens? Depression, anxiety. Ooh, that's why we anxiety. Uh, uh, uh. You got a demonic bucket list. Folk got all these bucket lists. I got it. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this. But the Bible says, "Seek ye first the kingdom." No, and it's righteousness and then all these things will be added to you you better hear what I'm saying because things is finna get way worse than what it is oh somebody say amen, amen. I'm telling you hey look you better focus listen listen because the, the spirits and seducing spirits and doctrines of devils is heavy and let me tell you something those just don't tell you Go worship Jesus. No. It's a little slicker than that. Go worship Allah. Go to a mosque. Guess what? We not going to do that. We know ain't no, ain't no Elohim but one. Right. We are not going to do that. But what's refraining us from saying, somebody saying, hey man, try this out, man. Me fake it feel better. No, nah, man, I don't do no drugs. Drugs ain't no drugs. What are you talking about? They, this legal in legal in, now in Cali. Yeah, oh, it's legal now. Now you ain't asking. Well, where you get it from? They don't know where they got it from. Yeah, they can tell you, uh, uh, uh little, 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 little JoJo. Right, yeah. They don't know where little JoJo got it from. They don't know what that thing intertwined with. But why are we drowning our sorrows in marijuana and alcohol anyway? That's the, that's what I'm saying. You finna go that route. They know you stressed because yep. you telling them you stressed. Oh, I got this. Hey, baby, look, man. I got look. I got something make you feel a little better. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna take away the problem, but it make you feel better. Let me tell you something. When you get to that point to drive where you ain't got no other choice because you ain't gave your your life your situation to y'all, mm -hmm. you gonna have a you gonna find something to relieve <laughs> yourself in at the liquor store at four in the morning. 10 in the afternoon or 10 in the morning. Why you think them crack ass be walking? Look, the bottom of their feet. The bottom of their feet <laughs> look like they listen. They walk 24 7. All day. They walk 24 7. If it weren't for the drugs, they calf would look like both, yep. both of my hands. Yep. Always they walk. That's all they do is walk. Hey, be cleaning up and just running errands. That's. <laughs> Gone to get, get that, that high. Yep. They're chasing it. Yep. This is why Darwin said this. I'm, I'm turning back. Darwin said this. He said, as a deer paints after the rock. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm going to chase after you. Yep. Better. As he does, I'm going to chase after you. We need to, we, hey, the crack addicts need to be an example for us. Right. Of how to chase after the father. They 24 7. Mm -hmm. Hey, they, they and they they and they grandma mama house in the basement, whatever, and they hear this knock on the window. 
they know somebody got something. Right hey, come on in. Oh, oh, right come on, let me set the table up. Yeah. We finna get it. Yeah. Come on. We should be just like that chasing after the farm. Yeah. You have to. And then we say, man, you're an extremist. Well, you, you're trying to make it in. You better be an extremist. So, so this this misleading spirits and teachers of demons. Hey, that thing is out here. That's more than just the false gods. Listen, yes, that's man. more than just you talking to people. That's you talking to yourself. Right. right. Yep. This you right. talking to yourself. Yep. Coming to conclusions on your own. Yep. And this is real because Solomon understood this back in Proverbs. He said, "Lean not." Understand. Oh, understand. On your to your own understanding, what he's saying. Don't talk to yourself. Don't counsel yourself. Don't counsel yourself. That's a curse. To counsel yourself. That's a curse from Yah. He have turned you over to you. And we blame Satan. It's Satan like I asked my daughter today, I'm at y'all. How many how many voices you could possibly hear in your head? Mm -hmm. You got three things that can talk to you. The father. Satan and who else? Yourself. And I'm asking you a question. Do you know the difference between your voice and Satan's voice? Do you know the difference between the Father's voice and Satan's voice? Do you know the difference between the Father's voice and your own voice? You know, you talk to yourself sweet. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hey, Kanye, mm -hmm. how you doing? You you good today, man? You gonna make it today, Kanye? Yep. Just stay focused. Man, you know you smart. You got this. You got your boy. You look but you look. But you know it's Satan, cause 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 when Satan talks to you, he talks to you like this. That's how Satan talks to you, ain't it? <laughs> nope. Satan talks to you like this too. Hey, come young. Hey, you doing good, man? You staying focused, man? Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's good, man. You failed. Come on, man. Just you ain't did nothing. You ain't did nothing. This is you good. Break. You good. Take a break. It's cool. You gotta learn to forgive yourself, man. Come on, man. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Have a block party on the Shabbat. <laughs> so, <laughs> put your way to the gas. This, hey, paying attention, yep, giving heed, giving heed to misleading spirits yep. and teachings of demons. Yep, yep. This is real, man. This is good. Y'all taking notes on this? Hey, this is good. Hey, man, we having suicide conversations. Hey, two or three people within the same month. Oh man. Hey, associated with us. That's real. I mean these and these Israelites, y'all. These these I mean these I mean these th this is this is amazing because when I called me with this, I'll be like, I, I I we don't say we told you so. Yeah. We don't say that. But what we do say to each other is the father warned us about this in the teaching. Sure did. Father warned us, man. We didn't know when and stuff was going, but we teach. We don't know when, what the timeline. But when we hear it, we say, man, the Father warned about this. Hey, he'll turn you over. Ooh. Those things are pursuing after us. Ooh. And we have to learn how to resist the devil. See, resisting the devil ain't as simple as you think resisting in your mind is. Resisting the devil is coming to class, fasting, and praying, and more fasting, and more crying out, and more coming. That's resisting the devil. You know, stop, quit playing. You so funny saying that ain't resisting the devil. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 that's not resisting the devil. <clears throat> what we're doing today is resisting the devil. We are, we are convincing ourselves, A, hey, with the word of Yah to go down this street. The Bible calls it straight street. All right. So it said the spirit speaks expressly. Hey, that's with an attitude. The spirit is speaking with emphasis. It's shaking the heck out of you. It's slapping you. You know, in the cartoons, somebody shaking it. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And your face going like this. That's what the spirit doing to us. Wake up. Focus. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. And it's to save your life. How many people save somebody's <laughs> life and they all come? It's okay. Come out the water. You just you drowning, but I'm here to save you. Ooh, come on, baby. Well, you you come on. You can make it. It's a crocodile behind you, but it's okay. <laughs> they screaming and hollering and trying to get out the water. Hey, you 
you snatch them out the fire. That's what we've been commanded to do. And when you snatching people out the fire, you're not gonna be on their popular list. You're, you're not. not gonna be able to keep their hope, their clothes from being wrinkled. Nope. You're not. Because is it isn't it interesting if you stack somebody out the fire, they more concerned about the fact that you wrinkled their clothes than the fact that their clothes could have been burnt up. And yeah. them with the clothes. Man, this is a hundred dollar mm. money, man. You grab a hundred dollar <laughs> money, it's true, man. Man, what you uh so you just want to be burnt up with a shirt then? Was that was that was that was that okay? Right. So we, we, we got to stay focused. It says that speaking lies in hypocrisy, having our conscience, the very thing that causes us to know mm -hmm. your intelligence, your consciousness, seared or branded. You know what a brand it is? It's a stamp. It's, it's, it's what the, the, the cowboy do to the cow's butt. He take a hot, hot iron, put it on the fire, and put his logo on it, <clears throat> and then he put it on the butt of the cow. He branding the cow. Hey, this is what the enemy do in our conscience. He brand that bull crap in your mind. And his avenue of doing that is through the cares of this life. Mm -hmm. Because when the cares of this mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. outweighs this here scripture, well, you know, that's, that's, the Bible. I'm talking about real life. See, when you get to that point, where well, I'm going to handle my life without the Bible, that's when he began to brand you. He got that gun, that rivet gun, and blink it, blink it, blink it, blink it. He's sticking all this crap to your head. And you just making bad decision after bad decision after bad decision, and then he leave you, and now you're suicidal. Oh, what to do now? See, because the pressure's this is what happens when, when Satan is with and y'all 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 equate equate this to anything y'all y'all have gone through personally that you know you should not have done. Hasn't it not been like this? And then you came in your senses. Satan was with you. He was one with you. Not that you knew he was with you. Like I'm going with Satan. No, you was going with your mind. Right. But it was him. Right. But when he left you alone. And you was left now with the realization of your actions. You all were depressed in whatever level of depression you was in on your own. Oh. It might not have been suicidal. Right, right. But you were depressed knowing that you didn't went off and done a thing that did not please the father. Right. Mm -hmm. You knew you should not have done. And now you are left with that burden of depression of that thing, and this is what happened. You are feeling that because Satan had the cables on your back. Right, so that all that's gone. But now the cable's gone, he gone. No support system. And now that burden now weighs on your own shoulders. Now reality set in. And you can't bear that burden. Man, I messed up. Man, what have I done now? You can't bear that burden. I remember when I was in the church and this, this individual got caught up in some, and some infidelity and they said they was in the hotel in the shower for about four hours they knocking on the door hey hey check out time the reality of the scene had, had, been done. had hit in now they got to go home they got to face their spouse the person they slept with gone because mm -hmm. they was all in their ear you know do it. Do it, make it happen. you got a few problems at home you right. know but then them cables gone, like you said, right? All that bad influence, it's never around when you get arrested, is it? All that, them, them, them bad influence is never around. Oh. And this individual was like, stayed in the shower and tried to wash that off. I pay, don't worry about it, you open the door. Just standing there in that shower. Like, I done really messed up. Mm -hmm. I only done it. Yep. And, and it's like a job, y'all. I was I got my kidney transplant um, August second last year, and it's been a year now. But as, as the year came up, and hallelujah, as the year came up, I started to reflect on when I got my when I got the transplant. I re I regretted it because what I was never told was I didn't have anybody that had been through anything like this that gave me a reality of oh well they're gonna cut you here from here to here. 
and then they gonna put 30 staples in you. And then you are gonna be hurting for a long time. And it's gonna be a while. And, and when they get done taking the staples out, you they gonna they gonna give you 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 ain't gonna never feel nothing up in this area again. The nerves gone. And and I and I reflected on how I regretted it for a few weeks, for about over a month. And I, and 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 my thing is this is that when they brought me out of the surgery, the next day I woke up, I grabbed my guitar and I was playing. I was just talking about I ain't I ain't I well I, I was just doing up in that bed. They walking in there it's like, oh man, you feeling good, man? Normal pages don't feel like this. I said, yeah, I feel good, man. And and all of a sudden she said, well look, here's your man, here's your pain medication. Whenever you get ready, you can just press it. Oh no, I need it. I'm just playing guitar and I put it up. I went to sleep. And I didn't wake up. Something woke me up. And it was the pain from my my, my wound. The steroids that they gave me for the surgery and then wow. then wore off. I had no idea. That they had given me anything to, to to numb that area or nothing. I just, you know, I didn't know nothing. I woke up and that pain felt like nothing I never felt in my life. <laughs> I woke up and I was reaching for anything that can call a nurse. I was pulling stuff down. I was yeah. trying to find that. I was hitting that. I was, hey, what's this? Hey, right. what's going something wrong? Yeah. And she was like, no, it's nothing wrong. And she's looking. And she look at the sky, she's like, no, it's nothing wrong. I don't I'm well. Yeah. She's like, and it dawned on me. She said, oh, your pain, your, the, your original medication they gave you is worn off and your, your numbness, your steroids is coming down. You, now you feeling your, this is who you are now. This is yourself. Oh. Now you, this is the example of Satan leaving you. Yeah. See, when he was with you, you was, whoa, yeah. I'm, I'm hyped, I'm, I'm, I'm charged up. High hand is in it. Mm -hmm. I'm charged up. But when he left, reality. the reality set in the way you stood with the father. You sit in the pig pen. And now you're in the pig pen. You're in a prodigal son situation. Yeah. Now you got to come to yourself now. But that process of coming to yourself yeah. is a rough process. Mm -hmm. But this is why you can't be shaken in mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't, when them problems come, don't give yourself to lead misleading spirits. Mm -hmm. Don't give you seducing spirits, the teachers of demons. Because yep. they come when you got problems. And it's a playground for that. And it's, there you go. Yep. You know, you, you, you mad at your wife and then here come Miss Park. That, you know, every time you all, every time to, we, man, I, I don't know why. This 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 is the route, man. But this yeah. this the way we teach. I promise you, I have not had an experience where when stuff go like this, that there ain't tests coming right after this. Hey, right behind it. Right behind it. Right behind it. This this is this is a very great teaching. Let's go to Second Timothy third chapter. So keep in mind what we just read them two verses. Three and one. Second Timothy, three. Second Timothy three and one. But know this: that in the last days, hard times. My goodness. Woo. But know this: that in the last days, hard times shall come. So you see how we've been warned over and over. Know this: that in the last days, it says <coughs> perilous times. And 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 that that word perilous, it does mean hard. But to go into the deep etymology of that word mm -hmm. is dealing with declining of strength. Things that... And that's how they get hard. Right. Because things you will do that you wouldn't normally do when you was at a better state. When you wasn't falling away. When, when you didn't accept certain things. When you were with your parents when when you were in the church when you were involved in just certain things that you wouldn't do so now the perilous times come 
a, a declining of strength to do what? Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Here go some examples. Covetous. You a lover of yourself. I don't need no woman. I don't need no man. You got every sex toy a known to mankind. That's what this is talking about. Mm -hmm. You 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 are so conceited that your Facebook page is full of you. Your cell phone is full of you. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Click. Mm, 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 mm. You just love yourself. You just got pictures of every angle. My best side. Oh, it's my other best side. This is what we do. <laughs> my but this is what we do. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Hey, when these seducing spirits come in and deceive ourselves, these are different stages of heading into the wrong direction. Because when you when you're a love of yourself, you can't be told nothing. You can't never be corrected. <laughs> Every time you be corrected, anybody that has authority over you, you got something to say. <laughs> you always got something back to say. Always. You love yourself. How dare you talk to me like that? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? This is me. This is the behavior of a person who love themselves become a covetous. Hmm. A bolsters and proud. Gay pride? Are you kidding me? Hey, can a gay man come in your church? Yeah, as long as he ain't proud. Gay, yep. gay proud people is not allowed in here, and neither is a proud pedophile, yep. neither is a proud cheater, a proud liar. Hey, I'm a proud liar. I lie. Yep. I'm proud about it. Right. No. You, I'm a thief, and I'm proud about it. Right. Okay, well, <laughs> you sit right outside the threshold. Right. You can't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> and he going to tell us he proud about it? Right. I'm a proud thief. Yeah, he gonna steal from you. Yes. And he gonna say, well, I told you. I told you. <laughs> and the gay dude in here winking at married men. Right. <laughs> I, I see how your wife be treating you. Right. Come on to the dark side. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say my child name. I ain't gonna say my child name. I got, I got two in here and I got a couple on the phone listening. Okay. But I had a child that could not walk past a reflection of himself and not stay <laughs> See? See? Listen, it's a young age too, man. I love me. I caught that thing so quick. Yeah. When I tell you, I realized what was going on. I was like, hey, stop looking at yourself. Stop doing that because I know what the, I know what it can turn into. Right, what it can turn into. I'm trying to stop it now. Vanity. But vanity. Vanity smirk. Vanity. I see we all got smirk. girls. So that's the we all got girls. So that's yeah. the biggest thing. Trying to get them right, but you still gotta acknowledge them. You are beautiful. Right. You are right. It's a but, balance. Yes. But, but let that's listen. Listen. Thing. Let that's me <laughs> thing, listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. Let me tell you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you say thank you. Right. Then like I'm talking about walk past that man and be like, yeah. selfie. And I'll be like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you staring? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. And then they gave us Vandy Smurf, man. Right. <laughs> a gay dude. This yeah, dude walking yeah. around with a, <laughs> with a mirror. With a mirror, man. A gay dude, man. What is a Smurf? Right. But you know, a little demon. I just thought he thought yeah. he was a pretty boy. Yeah. But yeah, you probably right. I thought he thought That's he was a pretty boy. It's a love of self. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 look what that spirit opens the door to. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unthankful, unholy, no. without natural affection. That's gay. It's a homosexual. Hey, without natural affection. Let me Let's read see. it in in this one. What is that? Three. Three and three. Well, let me go back to for men shall be lovers of self, lovers of money, boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, thankless, wrongdoers, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, Father, without self control, mm. fierce haters of good, mm. fierce, fierce haters. betrayers, reckless, puffed up, lovers of 
pleasures rather than lovers of Elohim. Ooh. Hey, whatever makes me feel good, I'm gonna feel it. Hey, it, cause it's about me. I'm going out though. Hey man, the world is finna end anyway, and I'm going out with a bang because I'm finna fulfill my bucket list. I'm going and, out. With hey man, this, this is the the mindset of the world. We'll be at verse five. Mm -hmm. Hey, having a form of righteousness, so that means the appearance of righteousness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Let me read it in here. Having a form of reverence, but denying his power, and turn away from these. For among them all those who creep into houses and captivate silly women, loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts. Mm. For this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women, laden with love, led away with different lusts. Hey, that's the R. Kelly type. Yep. Hey, man, a predator. You know, dude need to be beat, man. This brother is a straight pattern predator. But you know what? He got some willing and able yeah. followers. But you, but you know what's so funny? That didn't just start, man. I no, they, remember, they've enabled him. I remember people that went to Kenwood High School. They've enabled him, man. McDonald's used to be on 53rd, and he'd just be uh, like, like, girl, like in the 90s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he just around. And I said, like, can you hang that McDonald's? Hey, like Kenwood? Just Kenwood. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's his prep. That was his area. That had yeah, Kenwood uh, High Park, South Street. Yeah, that was all hey, man, That was his shit. He used to be at McDonald's all the time. Hey, like, man, a straight diva. You heard what Neo said about him. The man is straight diva. They got seven dressing rooms and he won't get him one. One. They got they got, how are you in the concert and, and what my people gonna change? You got seven dressing rooms, dude. But but you see, you see how all of those other attributes is telling you about who he is? Mm -hmm. You see how the scriptures never lie? Hey, creeping with with with, with silly women. Laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. It says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Hey, forever learning. Forever learning, but never, ever submit themselves to the Father. Hey, reading all kind of books, know something about every, every religion. Hey, just deep, can have a conversation about everything. Whether it's religion, politics, you know, you can you can dive in all those conversations, but don't know Elohim. Mm -hmm. Don't know y'all. Hey, never fasted. Hey, never put themselves in a position for the Father to deal with them. So these are some of the things, you know, that we need to look at. Let's go one more place before we take a break. Let's go.